Hello and welcome back to my channel and I'm going to show you my method for making lovely Slimming World chips today. Uh, we use red potatoes and the potatoes we use are from Waitrose and it's my turn to peel the potatoes today and I'll come back and show you the rest of the method. Here are the peeled potatoes. You can prepare them a couple of hours in advance and leave them to soak in water. We, we have tried to do them the evening before, but we found they take on too much water and don't have quite as nice a taste. So I recommend if you want to do them beforehand, do it two or three hours before and leave them in water. So my very glamorous assistant, Andrew, is going to show you how we prepare the chips. Now this is a potato, this is a knife. Go like that, like that. Right. Go like that, isn't it marvellous? So obviously cut into chip size shapes, you can also do this with roast potatoes. Once the potatoes are sliced into chips, rinse them with water again and shake them up. It just gets rid of all starch. There you go, you see. So, then grab a tea towel. He's a comedian, isn't he? This is a tea towel. Dry off the chips in the tea towel. So what we use to cook our chips is a T-file Actifry and they take about half an hour, 40 minutes in the T-file Actifry. So yes, we just need to get all the moisture out of the chips. Showing off. It's showing off now. And if you drop one on the floor, you just pick it back up and throw it back in again, like that. Oops. I'm sure you've all seen the Nazi fry, but there you go, there's the chips in there. So we are going to use, on this occasion, we're going to use Fry Light. Quite a few sprays in there. And I'd say, how long do you say they take? Uh, that amount will be, yeah, it'll be half an hour or so. Yeah, half an hour. So we'll leave those cooking for a while. So the Acti Fry, the sorry, the um, Fry Light is obviously free, no no sins, but you could also use seven sprays of this Filippo Berro for half a sin. So seven sprays of that oil is half a sin, or you could use some extra virgin olive oil. A tea, a level teaspoon of oil is two sins. And that does make it quite nice for two people. So for two people, I would count one sin for, for a teaspoon of olive oil because it's shared between two. And you could also shake this Perfect Shake Chips in 
Andrew doesn't like this, so I shake mine on afterwards, but it is really nice and makes the chips really tasty. So as I say, a teaspoon of olive oil is two sins, and if you share it between two people as we would do, it would be one sin for your own portion. So we're just checking on them um, and decided that they need a little bit more fry light. I would really recommend an active fry. It's really easy for your chips and roast potatoes. Roast potatoes we make in exactly the same method. Sometimes we do use the oil to make it a little bit nicer but to be honest we're getting used to the fry light now and we really like it with fry light. You can also cook sausages in here and also, there's all sorts of recipes available. So let me know what you think. Here they are, they've been in the ActiFry for about 30 minutes and they're looking lovely and brown and crispy bits on the end. So they'll be absolutely gorgeous and I'll show you our plates and what we're having them with in a second. I'm aware that earlier I said it was a teaspoon of oil that was two sins. It's actually a tablespoon. So a level tablespoon of olive oil extra virgin is two sins. And if you put that in with your chips and it serves two, you could count one sin for your portion. So my meal from the Slimming World chips is a Slimming World quiche with bacon and peppers with tomatoes on the top and the Slimming World chips and then I've got a mixed salad I've got a sparkling sugar free drink from Aldi and I've got a meringue with Activia vanilla yoghurt raspberries and um, sweet freedom fruit syrup and that's three sins. And the quiche will be my healthy extra eight of cheese. So that was my video for Slimming World Chips. I hope you enjoyed it. Please comment or ask any questions below. And like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.